Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this afternoon's wild card matchup in the Pacific Division, or Pacific Conference, sorry, the Vancouver Mountaineers taking on the Albuquerque River Monsters. The experts say Albuquerque, but the percentage leans Vancouver. Albuquerque, of course, being home, given they are the higher seed, they're the four seed. Taking on Vancouver, the five seed, Albuquerque second place in the Southwest Division. Vancouver second place in the West Division. Looks like we have the first overall rushing offense, third overall rushing defense in uh, Vancouver and Albuquerque having the fourth overall rushing offense and the sixth overall rushing defense. Both of them not having insane passing games. So here we'll start off with Albuquerque at their own 30. Being led by Ryan Walton. Walton dropping back to pass, looking deep on the first play of the drive. Incomplete pass intended for Tredarius Combs. We'll have second down. Tonight. Walton with a split back formation. Austin out to the left with a swing. Eventually being brought down by Carlos Williams after a gain of four. Third and six on the opening drive for the River Monsters. Walton back to pass, looking to his right, caught by Lonnie Reed. First down, and this drive will keep going just shy of midfield. I believe Lonnie Reed missed some time this year on injury. Glad to see him here in the playoffs to pull through for his team. Great catch on the sideline for a first down by B.J. Austin. Uh, David Bronson, Offensive Player of the Year candidate, running for Vancouver. Albuquerque obviously having B.J. Austin. Two powerhouse running backs carrying their teams this far into the season. And here we have the dual threat, Jesse Lane coming into the game. Lane with three rushing touchdowns on the season. 159 yards, stopped in the backfield this time. Amir Farrar on the tackle for loss there. Third down situation once again, this time deep in Vancouver territory might have enough for a field goal. Walton to Austin. Austin fighting for yards. Couldn't quite get the first down. Had to be dragged down and we will see a field goal attempt by Ben Clifford. Clifford, it is up. It is off the left post. 50 yard attempt, no good. Not the best start for Albuquerque. And out marches Graham Hall. Go. Hall dropping back to pass out to Medlin. And Medlin will be tackled after a gain of seven. Hall does not pass a whole awful lot. Only has one interception. 12 passing touchdowns. Little over 18,000 yards or 1,800 yards, sorry, on the season in the bottom percentile of the league. So you typically see there he is, David Bronson. You often see Bronson with the ball, not a lot of yards. Uh, Walton has, you know, roughly in the middle of the pack, you know, a little over 2,000 yards, 20 touchdowns, three interceptions. Uh, Hull once again passing. A little surprise in the play call. For Vancouver. Tavares Blackstone, I believe, on that catch. I formation second and one. Expecting another run to the all-star Bronson. And there he is. Up past the 40. Looks like it to the 39. Vancouver will have another set of downs. Uh, 
most rushing attempts in the league. David Bronson at 224 on the season. And you can see exactly why they go to him. He averages 5.1 yards per carry. Over 1,100 yards. The only man you can say that. And over 10 touchdowns. He has 11 touchdowns. Only man who you can say that about as well. Looks like we have their dual threat. You have Roland. Well, Marcus Roland. Obviously not as uh, impressive as a stat line, him having only 146 yards on the year and a touchdown. Hull looks like he was under pressure, tried to throw it to the tight end, and it was batted down. Tended for James Dowd. Second and 10. Vancouver in pistol formation. Four wide receivers out. Bronson again getting the ball handed off to him. LaMarco Rowland will see his way back into the game here on third down. Third and seven. You'd hate to see the field goal unit get brought out here. This loud stadium in Albuquerque. And Rowland... Will try to get the first, but be just shy of a few inches. Honestly, with the momentum, you could go for it here. But they will not. And Tanner Schmidt will kick it just inside the right post, but it will be good. 32-yard field goal. And Vancouver will lead by three. Vancouver only has 207 points on the season. Albuquerque, 243. Tend to put up more points, but they also let up more points. Albuquerque letting up 212. Vancouver letting up 168. So Albuquerque lets up more, although they put up more. So this could be a pretty evenly set, evenly balanced matchup. Tonight. As the Albuquerque offense takes the field play action by Walton. Walton getting sacked by the ankles. And that was Cousins on the sack. We will have a second and long situation here. Tonight. Walton hand off to Austin. He will be met in the backfield. This time by Myers. Outside linebacker Braylon Myers. The Texan out of Oklahoma State. And that'll be a false star on Reggie Pryor, giving them an even worse situation. Third and insanely long, third and 22. Looking back at the sheet, looks like this is Vancouver and Albuquerque's first matchup. And that third and long attempt is incomplete. The punting unit will come out onto the field. You have Elijah Lockett getting set to field this punt. Big boot by Alex Lohman, the punter. He will be tackled, looks like, by B.J. Austin at the 46. Excellent field position to start for the Mountaineers to potentially send this up by two scores. Oh. Hull dropping back to pass. Out to his right, wide open, David Bronson. Second and one. Hull will be sacked by Narcisse. Great sack there. Antoine Narcisse. Almost hauled in there. But fourth and nine will come up for Vancouver, and they will very disappointedly have to punt this. Oh. 
touchback, and Albuquerque will start the 20. So I was looking at Narcisse's stats. Narcisse has two sacks on the season. 16 tackles, four tackles for loss. That would be his third then, counting the postseason. Great run there, great scramble by Walton. And that will give Albuquerque a great opportunity to get a first down blitz there. But Walton was able to think fast. Gun it out to Harris. Great catch on that bullet from Ryan Walton by Jamar Harris. Walton dropping back, this time under pressure again, looking out to his fullback. That is Chris Whetstone. Ooh, and we have an injury on the play. It's like Marcus Hibbard got injured on the tackle. Tweaked his ankle. Let's hope it's not an Achilles. BJ Austin, the handoff out to the left, hurdles the man. Tackled by Sharif Abdullah. Sharif Abdullah all over this offense today. Lonnie Reed with the wide open deep ball. We'll have excellent field position. I did not get terribly excited because Albuquerque did not convert last time they were in the red zone. So I'm not holding up any hope for Albuquerque this time around. But we will see what Ryan Walton in this River Monster offense has in store. And that might be an offsides free play. BJ Austin with the reception. We'll see what the end result is. And I expect a decline. Yup. From that John France offside penalty. High formation. Walton hand off to the fullback. And Whetstone will only gain one on the play. Third and one. As the first quarter expires. Maybe they get a playoff here on the third down. They do not. End of the first. Vancouver only up by three. Albuquerque looking to change that. Third and one. Hoping to take the lead. Getting a first down. Giving them... Four more opportunities to strike. We'll see what the play call is here. Walton dropping back to pass, looking for Austin. And Austin will get into the end zone for the touchdown. And the River Monsters have found blood in the water with these Mountaineers. And this extra point will make it seven straight through the middle by Clifford. Now we will have still a one-score game, but this time Albuquerque taking the lead at home. Vancouver now with the retaliation. Vancouver having linebacker Jeremiah Kinslow, defensive tackle Randy Payne, and tight end Matthew Fawcett hurt today. On the Albuquerque side, we have Brandon Ferguson, the linebacker, Desmond Baxter, strong safety, both of those guys hurt on the defensive side. By uh, defensive injuries, uh, with the exception of Fawcett on both sides. And obviously now that addition for Vancouver. Um, I believe it was Marcus Hibbard who was hurt on that play last drive. So you'd expect it to be a Higher scoring offensive game. Almost a deep ball. Intended for Ricky Medlin. We will have third and four from their own 27 now. Vancouver in shotgun formation. A quick dish out to the fullback, but it will be incomplete. Quentin Simon had some miscommunication there. And this is the first time we will see Luke Carlisle, I believe. Hunter out of Vanderbilt. And that is Chantrell Haywood breaking the tackle. 
getting a couple extra yards there on that punt return up to the 32. I formation for the River Monsters. Whetstone in motion. Walton handing off to Austin. Austin got met rather quickly by Brian Cousins. Second down. Three receivers, tight end out to the right side. Now Austin out to the right side. Effectively having five receivers. The screen pass almost intercepted. Looks like Brian Cousins read that as well. Cousins clearly having watched tape from the River Monsters this past week. Walton 7 for 10, 82 yards and a touchdown. Increasing those stats with that first down. Caught down the middle by Tredarius Combs. I formation for the River Monsters on this new set of downs. Austin out to the left, seemingly having freedom, but he stepped out of bounds, unfortunately, before you could break free. Second and four past midfield now. Austin with over 60 yards on the day, all purpose. Another handoff to Austin. Austin. Broke through just enough to get the first down before being brought down eventually by Alex Johansson. Wide open man in Wayland. And Wayland will evade the first tackler and get a first down. Looks like that was Sean Castle on the tackle there. Single back formation after moving the chains. Hike. Walton dropping back to pass under pressure with the blitz from the outside. Austin, nine yard gain there. Sorry, eight yard gain there. And the clock will keep ticking. Albuquerque looking to bolster this lead. Potentially getting a touchdown here on this drive. Hike. Having a new spark in them. Austin, no man! And he gets the touchdown, assuming this penalty is not against them. It is not. Jonathan Corville with the holding. And Austin will give the River Monsters a, a hefty lead. 14 to 3 in this wild card matchup. Hike. The Mountaineers needing to muster up something they want to stay in this matchup now neither of these teams have an owner i believe the river monsters had an owner at some point in the season both of these teams are operated by the commissioner if you want a spot in this league join the discord the axis football discord is pretty active and the naga has its own feed you can join the server, come in freely, and request, fill out an owner form um, or a prospect form if you wish to seek involvement in this league. We'd love to have you. David Bronson there on the handoff, breaking two tackles and then being brought down after a gain of two. And once again, there's Antoine Narcisse. But yeah, um, Axis 24 is out. I'm sure you guys are all well aware this is still on Axis 23. Uh, but next season will be on Axis 24. Excited for that. And there's an interception. Barring the penalty. Williams breaking another tackle. Getting brought down by the quarterback. And it will result in a turnover. Because that was on Caleb Shelton. Almost had a pick six there. Lance Williams, the outside linebacker out of Vegas. And the River Monsters are running away with this lead. Vancouver has to do something serious. I believe that was Graham Hull's second interception on the season. I guess we see why Hull does not pass much. 
little sneaky handoff to Whetstone. Whetstone will be brought down in the backfield by Stanley Brown. Stanley Brown, originally from Virginia Beach on the Mariners, now wearing the green and white. The Virginia Beach game upcoming still, I believe. Commentating this game, I, uh, I I have no awareness of any other game that's going on, so uh, I know that they're all taking place this weekend at 4 and 7. This is a 4 o'clock game. Um, so make sure you tune in to all the playoff games, all the wild card matchups this week. I am sure they're all going to be exciting. And after that field goal by the River Monsters, Blackstone taking the kickoff and Tavares Blackstone will get it up to the 26 halfway through the second quarter you do not want to see Hull make the same mistake that he did last time play action fumble and that will be picked up by Clark and Clark will have the fumble six touchdown river monsters I don't know who popped that out, but that was Marshall Clark with the scoop and score. The 29-year-old graduate from Cincinnati, fellow Pennsylvania native. What an electric defensive performance we've seen from this River Monsters defense. Their passing defense is the fourth worst in the league. And that pass rush and the, the passing, you know, the defensive backs are the ones that have kept them in this game. And this home crowd is loving it. Vancouver unfamiliar with the playoffs. And they are getting a, a, a rough welcome. David Bronson looking to salvage this game while it's still in the first half down by three scores I mean you want to shrink it down to two scores before the half give yourself a, a little bit better position given that Vancouver gets the ball after halftime under pressure across the body great first down catch great first down throw that was Matt O'Connor out of Hagerstown Maryland huh so Hagerstown's a nice little uh, small town, North Maryland. Very rare you see a uh, NFL player hailing from not NFL, sorry, NHEA player hailing from Hagerstown, Maryland. Hull dropping back, throwing the screen pass to Bronson, and that will result in negative yards. Gardner with the tackle, now third and long. Third tackle on the day by Marlon Gardner. Hull looking for the first down, Blackstone, and he breaks his ankles. Touchdown, Blackstone, and the Mountaineers will still be in this game. Great Super long catch by Tavares Blackstone. Graham Hall redeeming himself after those two consecutive turnovers. Schmidt sending it through for the point after. Wow. Blackstone caught that, was heading inside, and did a nice cut to the outside. Completely broke that defender's ankles. Lonnie Reed receiving it in the end zone, looking to his left, cutting inside. Tackled from behind, made it past the 25 up to the 26. And Albuquerque, all they got to do is not make mistakes. Maybe get into field goal range. They just can't do what Vancouver's been doing this first half. Walton with time, looking deep, wide open, Templeton. That was Percy Templeton. The huge reception. 
And if it wasn't for, that was either Raheem Nolan or Sean Castle, you know, he might have, he might have gotten away with it. BJ Austin, nice little run for one yard. And they flip sides of the field in two plays. Was on their own 26. Now they're on the opponent's 26. As we come up on the two-minute warning. Walton dropping back, rolling out, almost intercepted off the hands of Carlos Williams. And the clock will stop as Ryan Walton is under center. I formation motioning the tight end. Walton looking down the middle. Looks like we have a holding by James Bossy. They will decline that in favor of the fourth down. And Albuquerque will be forced to bring out Ben Clifford. One for two on the day. Clifford putting it up, and this one looks wide right. The 43-yarder is no good. I believe he is 0% from over 40 today. And I imagine this home crowd is devastated. Bronson handoff up the middle. Great gain of five. Oh, six. Even better. And we have approached and have reached two-minute warning. Vancouver has the ball down 24 to 10. Two-minute drill. Both teams with three timeouts. Hull dropping back. Has time. Out to his left. Completely overthrows. Like that was Zach Drew. Zach Drew, the second string tight end. Iowa State graduate. Tonight. Hull. Hand off to Bronson. Outside Bronson. Fighting for it. Albuquerque now calling the timeout. Expecting them to bring out the punting unit. And out comes Luke Carlisle. Carlisle punt looking like it's headed for the inside of that end zone. And it will. Touchback. Albuquerque will get the ball with a minute 43. Less than two minutes to go. Squandered opportunity by the Vancouver Mountaineers. Let's see how they hold on defense. Austin motioned out to the right. Cutting across to the left. And Walton will try to find him. Off the hands of the defender. It's like that was Braylon Myers. Second and 10. Walton 11 for 17. Roughly 15 or 16 yards per catch. A little less than 10 yards per attempt. It's like an offsides penalty. We'll make this a dead play. By Ryan Vanetten. But once again, that was off the hands of Braylon Myers. Myers is all over... Walton's passes on this drive. So, for you Vancouver fans, you still have hope as long as Braylon Myers is alive. Deep ball catch by Combs, and Combs breaks free. Tackled out of bounds at the 33. Great stop there by John Gabriel. Darius Combs on the huge reception, putting Walton above 200 yards on the day. Walton with plenty of time decides to scramble out to his left. Has a blockers along the sideline. Oof. It's like that was a backbreaker tackle. Elijah Lockett giving it his all into that tackle. Is Greg Williams the defensive coordinator? What's happening here? All right, Walton looking towards the end zone. Almost intercepted again by Braylon Myers. If Myers could just put a little bit more stick him on his gloves. And Vancouver would have this ball four times by now. Or three. However many it is, Braylon Myers is all over it. Combs in motion. Walton looking out to his right. And that is the tight end, Wayland. Third and goal. The clock has stopped still. Vancouver looking to hold them to a field goal. You don't want to let up the lead or the, well, not the lead, but the, the position you just 
regained, only being down by two scores going into the half. That was just thrown into a cluster of men. And Albuquerque will settle for a field goal. I don't imagine Ben Clifford will miss this one. And I might, I might have jinxed him. But Ben Clifford with the attempt. And oh my goodness. I am so sorry, Albuquerque River Monsters fans. I I called it too soon. Um, <laughs> uh, one for three now. Ben Clifford, I can't even use the yardage as an example. That was a miss from 22 yards. Great catch by the fullback there. First down, courtesy of Quentin Simon. No timeout called by the Mountaineers. Um, I'm assuming they're waiting until they get a little better field position. Shotgun formation for the Mountaineers. Hull dropping back. Plenty of time across the middle. And that is O'Connor breaking the first tackle. Vancouver, please call a timeout. Matt O'Connor, the Hagerstown native. Graduate of Duquesne. 29-year-old wide receiver. Making some great plays. Two catches for 30 yards today. As the clock is expiring. Hull. Last ditch effort, really. I mean, David Bronson gets it out of bounds. Ooh, Tavares Blackstone tweaking his leg. Will likely return in the second half. And that's wide receiver one. You don't want to have him out on these uh, deep pass attempts that I'm anticipating. All being rushed again. His field of vision was very narrow. As all he saw were men dressed in red and yellow gunning for him. Hull motioning the receiver. Dropping back, looking out to his right. Catch by Bronson, but it will be for naught. And uh, we will have halftime. The River Monsters putting up all their points in the second quarter. How many times can you say that? 24 to 10. Mountaineers being the more consistent team throughout. Unless you consider missing field goals consistency. I doubt Ben Clifford will retain his job much longer. Kickoff fielded by Bronson. Bronson breaking the tackle. Looks like that was uh, Ben Clifford trying to tackle him. If you can say anything about Ben Clifford, I mean, you can't say that he's slow. Made his way downfield rather quickly. And to start the third quarter, we have the Mountaineers. False start from Joseph Lemoyne. And that gives enough time for Tavares Blackstone to get back into formation. First and long. Mountaineers. Hull motioning Blackstone, but handing off to Bronson. Bronson only gaining three on the play. Like that was Marlon Gardner on the tackle. Bronson out to the left. Accumulating just over 70 yards today. Deep throw by Hull. Caught by Blackstone. And this time... If I'm, if I'm not mistaken, Tyler Green was the defender whose ankles got broken last time by Blackstone. Green was not so easily fooled this time. That little cut that Blackstone just loves to do. Hull with plenty of time out to his right. Almost picked off again. Off the hands of Aaron Dickerson. Hike. Hull dropping back out to his left. Matt O'Connor gaining just four yards. Third down. The hand off to Bronson here on third down, and he will not get the first.
Field goal unit out. That is Schmidt and straight through the middle on that 34-yard attempt. Looks like Dickerson, though, will not return. I'm not sure how he hurt his head on a field goal block. But big loss, Aaron Dickerson. Quite the presence on this defense. Dickerson having 22 tackles on the season and five defended passes. Three tackles for loss, so he's kind of seen everywhere for the River Monsters. Vancouver still down by two scores. Walton now dropping back to pass for the River Monsters. Looking deep for B.J. Austin. Running back, running deep with a linebacker covering him. I mean, I guess you see that a good bit, even in other leagues. Go! It's a little taboo. Austin galloping up to the right. Gain of four. Third down in the third quarter. Vancouver looking to stop them here. Three and out would be wonderful. And Austin will be stopped in his tracks. And Jesse Lane will just come out to be a force for the punting unit. Alex Lohman with the punt. Lockett fielding it. Up to the 32. Pistol form. Hike. And the Mountaineers will have plenty of time to throw. Hull running out to the left. Hold on to the ball, sir. Gain of six. Hull is both the saving grace and the liability today. Not a lot of action from Bronson. <laughs> that wasn't intentional. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um... <laughs> Speaking of Bronson, um, first down for the Mountaineers, courtesy of Bronson. Getting some action. Um, Vancouver now with four wide receivers. Motioning O'Connor to the left. The play action. Great pickup block by Bronson and Matt O'Connor. Game five. Out to the left now. There's Bronson Hull with an empty backfield looking to the right. Dowd, the tight end. Might have been his first catch of the day. Game two there. Bronson up the middle. Can't get it. Great stop by Gardner. They'll be forced to punt. Out comes Luke Carlisle once again. Nice little Kaufman corner there. 12-yard line. Excellent punt by Luke Carlisle. DJ Austin up to the left. Gaining a few there. Second and six. Hike. Walton on second down. Hand off to Austin. Up to the left. Stopped after a gain of a few. Third and three. Jesse Lanes will come in. Sorry, there's no S there. It's just Jesse Lane. Go! 
great catch by Lane. And will he get the first down? And he will. And the chains are moving for the River Monsters as they look to keep this lead late in the third quarter. Austin out to the right, shoving off a man, and he just cannot get out of that backfield. Great tackle by Alex Johansson right at the line of scrimmage. Walton dropping deep back in lane. I believe will haul it in with one hand. Gain of seven, third and three. Jesse Lane will not get the first down, and I'll be fourth and six. Brian Cousins on the stop. Elijah Lockett is back to field this punt. New opportunity for Vancouver. Game is far from over. Hall will look to take it himself. All of his men were just locked up. But James Riddick was able to break through while Hall was about to turn on the wheels. Second and 15, Bronson with the handoff. Hardly anything going there. Third and 14. And this puts the Mountaineers in another tough situation as Hull will likely be forced to bomb it deep. Motioning O'Connor. Hull dropping back has coverage intended for Blackstone. And fourth and 14 will fall upon our Mountaineers. And Carlisle will once again punt it deep. This time Haywood will elect to catch it. And gain just a few up to the 28. Not a lot going for either side here now. Guess both sides are getting a little tired. Either that or both defenses have just decided to clamp down on these receivers. Penalty late there. Might be a holding. And it is on Reggie Pryor. That will now be first and 20. Forcing the River Monsters back towards their goal line. Let's hope they don't commit any more penalties that consequential. Would have been a great catch for Christopher Wayland. And Walton... We'll see his man, Reed. Flag on the play, but Reed will have the touchdown. And another holding penalty after that phenomenal play by Walton and Reed. And this offensive line is selling. Who's that? Brian Keene? Who was that? <clears throat> Well, now driving back in his own end zone. Forced to throw it short to Percy Templeton. Braylon Myers is quick on the stop. Second and 23. Devastating penalties for these River Monsters. Walton will look deep again. This time incomplete. Braylon Myers, the man on the swat. Third and 23. I mean, if you're Vancouver, you're grinning ear to ear. But you hate to see this as a River Monsters fan or as a River Monster. I'm sure his teammates are not too fond of these. But Percy Templeton pulling through. No penalty this time as a third quarter comes to an end. Albuquerque still up 24 to 13 following that first down. Ten minutes to go. Vancouver trailing by 11. We will see what both of these teams have in store for us for this fourth quarter. 
It is heating up. Wayland on the catch. Great snag by the tight end. Carlos Williams on the tackle. Second and four. Walton motioning Whetstone. Austin still behind him. Now Austin out to the left. And Walton will have a complete clear field up ahead of him on the right. And he is going inside the 20. We now have red zone play. The defense is falling apart here for the Vancouver Mountaineers. Aaron Dickerson on the tackle. Sorry, not Aaron Dickerson. What am I talking about? John Gabriel on the tackle. And there is Amir Farrar. On the sack. He's had a couple tackles for loss today. I know that. And that was his first sack on the day. Walton, a couple QB spies in front of him after that Daniel Jones-esque big run. Similar to the one I'm referring to from last season. If you remember, Daniel Jones just turning on the Jets. <laughs> Sorry, he's a giant, but I mean, he turned on the wheels. Running almost as fast as Tyreek. Touchdown in coverage. Looked like he got mossed by Lonnie Reed. Raheem Nolan, the man who got beat. Former Columbus Senator and Ben Clifford will almost miss the extra point, but it will be good bringing this lead up to 18. And it is do or die. I mean, it has been for the whole second half for the Mountaineers. Although hopes seem to be a little out of reach. Bronson on the kickoff return. Can't even make it up to the 20. Daquan Thomas on the tackle. Under center. Hull. Four wide receivers. Three on his left. Hike. And off to the left to Bronson. Bronson tossing the man off him. Fumbled, but Matt O'Connor was there to pick it up. Gain of five, ultimately. O'Connor, one of the shining stars on this Vancouver team. Play action to the fullback. Looking deep. Oh. Dropped pass, I want to say. By Zach Drew. Second string tight end. Part of this tandem tight end duo they like to run with. Hull with a decent stat line. Now rushing it up the middle, but he'll be put on his back. And that is Williams, resulting in the fourth and three. Vancouver will elect to punt it. Carlisle, punting it off to Haywood. Chantrell Haywood breaking the tackle, going up the edge. Tackled at the 45. And if you're Albuquerque, you can just run this clock out. I mean, there is not much the Mountaineers can do if you just run it. And there it is, B.J. Austin. One of the top rushers this season. Gaining nine on that play. And the clock ticks. 122 all-purpose yards today. He has been targeted many times as well as handed off to. And two touchdowns. I mean, he is the, the backbone of this River Monsters offense. Third and one. River Monsters looking to continue this drive. <laughs> Hand off to Austin, and that will get them the first down. Up inside the 40 to the 38.
Walton handing it off once again to Austin. Austin just chipping away at this defense and chipping away at this clock. They just look to burn out the rest of this game. Solid lead. It's like offsides penalty probably there. Austin incomplete. Couldn't quite haul it in. That was offsides, and it'll be a first down. No rush to bomb it deep anymore. Ryan Walton can just hand it off, unless he wants to see a 300-yard game from himself. Nice selfless handoff to B.J. Austin, who cannot escape Braylon Myers. Seems that Braylon Myers is pretty inescapable. On this defense, seven tackles, three defended passes. I probably count more than that, honestly. This time, Chris Whetstone on the handoff, and there's another tackle by Braylon Myers. Third and 12. Albuquerque putting a lot of faith into their kicker, Ben Clifford. Given they don't get this first down. Walton dropping back. Under pressure, overthrows his man. Intended for Christopher Wayland. And we are now halfway through the fourth quarter. And Albuquerque will try to put this through with Ben Clifford. And he unsurprisingly misses it. This, this is hard to watch. Um... Ben Clifford just sabotaging the rest of his career. Um, he's 27 years old, and you hate to see your career end so quickly. Hole with the incomplete pass. Bronson now banged up. Ooh. Luckily, it says expected to return. Probably just a Charlie horse. And Marco Rowland will be taking this pitch. Third and eight. Hike. Oh, dropping back, looking deep. Tavares Blackstone incomplete. And that'll be fourth down. Has Vancouver decided to give up? Will they punt it? They will not. Never back down. Never what? Let's go. Mountaineers surprise us. Go. Hull dropping back to pass. Looking down middle. Complete to LaMarco Roland past midfield. Never back down. Never what? Never give up. All right. Graham Hull. Pistol formation. Motioning O'Connor. Handoff to Roland out to the outside. Roland refusing to go down without a fight. Gain of five, and Adrian Boyd will see some snaps. Adrian Boyd's first snap of the season will be for a loss. Tackled by Clark. Go! All under pressure intended for Adrian Boyd. It'll be fourth down. LaMarco rolling back in the game. Once again, I say never back down, never what? Fourth and eight, Vancouver Mountaineers going for it deep. Caught by Blackstone. Up to the 20. Do they have hope? Maybe. Ram Hull looking to keep this game alive. I expect an onside kick next drive. Oh, out to the left, caught by O'Connor. O'Connor with nobody near him. Running out of bounds to stop the clock. But LaMarco... What? Klein safety. 
I doubt that it would have resulted in a safety if they would have declined that penalty. I don't think that is uh, what happened on the play. Would have been a first down. Uh, either way, first and 20 now. Mountaineers looking to score. <laughs> Hull dropping back, looking down the middle. Marco Rowland with nobody around him. Gaining six on the play. Clock ticking. And this Mountaineers offense needs to strike quickly if they even want to, you know, entertain the thought of taking this game back. LaMarco Rowland now catching it, working his way out of bounds. Third and seven. And this is not a do or die third and seven because they will go for it. They will never give up on fourth down. Vancouver. Dropping back, Graham Hall out to the left. Great catch by Dowd. When in doubt, throw to James Dowd. Starting tight end. Hall, first down. Dropping back, looking to the right side. James Dowd once again with the catch. I think that was, you know, partially to gain a little bit of yardage, but also to... Uh, just stop the clock without burning, you know, a spike or a timeout, so. Hull probably going to hand it off from shotgun. No, he won't. He's going to look to the end zone to his, I mean, he was wide open. O'Connor looked to have changed where the route was going. Confusing Graham Hull. Unexpected from Matt O'Connor. <laughs> Hull, pistol formation, four wide receivers looking to the middle. Almost intercepted. What will they do? Might as well go for the touchdown. Yep, 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 yep. Never back down, never what? Fourth and goal, Graham Hall in pistol. Under pressure. Oh, incomplete intended for LaMarco Rowland, and this game is over. I mean, it pretty much was over, but, you know, you, you like to root for the underdog in these situations. Make for an interesting game. And Austin will effectively run this game out. Not a timeout called. Coming up on the two-minute warning. Walton once again handing it off to Austin. Austin getting a first down. Vancouver burning their first time out now. And David Bronson is back, but too late. And the River Monsters. <laughs> will beat the Mountaineers at home. Two-minute warning now officially reached. B.J. Austin with 154 all-purpose yards. I'd consider him the MVP. I mean, the defense all stepped up for the River Monsters. You can't just attribute it to one guy. So, you know, it's uh, that's a group effort. But I tell you what, B.J. Austin. Although Ryan Walton Go. is arguably the player of the game. Great, great shot caller today. I don't think he's made any mistakes, so. Still got to get another set of downs before you kneel this one out, and Austin will do just that. Ooh, I thought he was going to get greedy and go for more. Walton will kneel this out. Great season for the Mountaineers. Great game for the River Monsters and Mountaineers. Um, you know, nothing to be disappointed out making it to the playoffs. A lot of other teams can't say that in this 2014 league. And Albuquerque will advance to either face 
the San Antonio Fighters or the Columbus Senators next week in the divisional round. Here we are looking at the stats. Wow, almost identical. The attempts and completions and yards and touchdowns, just an interceptions difference. Crazy. There's Braylon Myers, defensive player of the game for Vancouver. Almost identical games, it's just the mistakes really added up. The interception from Williams, the sack from Gibbs, you know, the fumble. The fumbles, you know. It does really all add up, especially in a playoff game. Blackstone, 150 yards on four catches. Crazy. Braylon Myers and Brian Cousins doing great work on this defense. You know your stars now. I mean, if no one watched a Mountaineer game this whole season, you now see who their stars are, what they have to build off of next year, next season. And Percy Templeton pulling through. Three catches for 80 yards. There you are, you know, forced fumbles, interceptions. I mean, who had the touchdown? Clark, that's right, scoop and score. Mm. Great defensive performance. Looking forward to seeing who they face next. I'm looking forward to watching the rest of this week's games and the rest of the playoff games and commentating some of them. So I hope you all join me. I appreciate you watching. Thank you from everyone here at the NAGA. My name is Reed Option, and I will see you next time.